hold one minute to my friend and colleague from Missouri, Mr. Alford. Gentleman from Missouri is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and uh, ranking member for the hard work putting this uh, NDAA together. I rise today in support of the National Defense Authorization Act because I am deeply, deeply concerned about the current direction of our military. We are at a critical juncture in our nation's history. This unclassified chart you see here shows the threat of Communist China Party. They're in red, we're in blue. It is a sad story. They are outpacing us at every aspect in the military. With escalating tensions in the Indo-Pacific, China's blatant threats against Taiwan and our military recruitment falling here in the U.S., we face significant challenges. We came to Washington because we believe in America. We believe in a brighter future for our children, and we believe that we are the greatest country on Earth. But our military is being weakened from within. The woke ideologies are killing confidence, killing motivation, killing recruitment, and the excellence of our military. These woke policies of diversity, equity, and inclusion, critical race theory, must stop. The enemy does not care the color of the skin of our service members and does not care what pronoun they use. We must make changes, and the NDAA starts those changes. And it starts with leaders willing to take a stand. Gentlemen's time And once expired. again, I urge all of my colleagues to support the NDA. Thank you, and I yield back. Gentlemen.